Okay, so welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt with Droid Tech, and today I'm going to be unboxing a really, really cool item. I know it's uh, pretty late, and it's the iPhone SE 128 GB. So I got this cheaper on the 8th of August sale a couple of days back, uh, but they delivered it pretty late. I suppose we'll be receiving it on the 10th of August, but oh well. They gave me some compensation. So I bought this at the official store on Lazada for 2,149 ringgit, if I'm not mistaken. So I opted for the 120 GB models because I think it's the best balance between price and also storage. Of course, uh, currently I use a 512 GB iPhone 11 Pro Max, upgraded from the 256 GB 11 Pro Max, which I used the year before. The reason I got the SE over getting the Note 20 Ultra and so on and so forth is because Samsung devices in Malaysia basically sucks because of the Exynos processor and so I didn't want to shout out 5,000 ringgit for a device which is like nothing compared to the Snapdragon variant especially in Malaysia it's not really worth it. You're paying the same price as people in US but we're getting less incredible hardware. So Samsung Malaysia I hope you take note of that and get the Snapdragon variant of the Note 20 Ultra and also future Samsung phones as well. So if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. It will really greatly support this channel because I'm a self-supporting YouTuber and I buy all these devices off of my own money. So of course it's not cheap. You know these devices cost more than 1000 ringgit at least for each device and also the accessories. Of course there are a couple of companies which sponsor me for certain stuff but of course they're all loaners so I do have to return them. But for phones, basically in general phones, iPads, yeah, I buy them off of my own money. So it'll be great if you can support this channel, give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends. And basically that's it. So let's get right into the unboxing of the iPhone SE 2020 128 GB. Guys, so we are back with the unboxing. But of course, it's not just about the unboxing because you have probably seen tons and tons of videos on YouTube with the unboxing of this iPhone SE in uh, multiple colors some youtubers have even unboxed all the colors as well but i'll be focusing more on the accessories for the se 2020 because it uses the iphone 8 and the iphone 7 cases it works and the best part about that is because the iphone 8 and iphone 7 have been around for like a long long time so that means there are tons of cases available that's one of the reasons why i'm getting this of course of the design yes you know is kind of uh, old school but of course the insights, the processor, the camera, everything is upgraded. All right, so enough talking. Let's get into the unboxing. So before that, let's take a look at the box itself so you can see a nice look at the iPhone SE front. So it's the iPhone 8 front, basically. Of course, it'll be the black front instead of a white front. Uh, on the left side, iPhone logo, Apple logo at the bottom. On the right side, iPhone. The top, you can see where it comes from. This is a MY set, which is basically a Malaysia set. All right, on the back, you can see it's uh, 128 GB. You can see all the stuff that it comes with. White, not silver, I almost said silver, but it's not silver anymore, it's called white because it has a deeper shade of white compared to the iPhone 8, something like the iPhone 10. All right, so let's get into the unboxing. Very easy, very simple. Apple has these pull tabs, which I love. I don't have to get my unboxing knife out. So let me pull the tab right now. So here, we have the iPhone SE. Let me slide out the top portion. Very nice unboxing experience. All right, so you can see on the top, designed by Apple in California. Okay, what do we have inside? The usual books. You can see in two languages, quick start guide, SIM ejector tool. And of course, I love my Apple stickers. I have a collection of Apple stickers from all the iPhones I've used since the first iPhone. So I have a ton of them. All right, so books aside, let's take out the iPhone SE. Wow, look at my hand size, it's pretty large, can, can hardly fit into the frame of the camera and you look at this iPhone SE, it just looks tiny in my hand because I'm really used to using big phones like the iPhone 11 Pro Max right here, you can see the size, you can see the size right here, but of course uh, I think I can work with this as a spare phone. Right, so I'm not going to remove this plastic because I'm going to get a screen protector applied right after this video. It's going to be a Kaizen screen protector as a temporary solution before I get my other cases and other screen protectors. You know, so probably I'll try to get waterproof cases as well because you know this iPhone is IP67 rated, not IP68. So you're not going to get like full waterproof protection. It'd be more like splash resistant instead. So I don't really trust this phone around water. But of course, if you do get splashes in the rain and stuff, uh, 
the IP rating would definitely work out. All right, let's take a look at the back and see the white. Okay, let's compare with the box white. It's very close. You can see that's how white it is with a silver aluminum trim around the camera. You can see right here, very nice. I do love it. It's very lightweight and slim as compared to my 11 Pro Max, you know, which is a pretty huge device. All right, so if you compare this with the iPhone 8 or the iPhone 7, the Apple logo has actually been moved from the top slightly to the center. So the, all the whatever iPhone branding here has been removed, which I like that, similar to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I can see on the top, get the camera module, 12 megapixel camera with a Smart HDR, which is the highlight feature. Of course, this is missing night mode, but I'll be showing you how to get night mode in the next video. So do stay tuned for that. You get a microphone as well as your true tone flash. All right, so let's flip it to the front. Get a nice speaker grill. You can get this camera to focus. Get a nice speaker grill on the top. And you get the signature home button at the bottom, which I absolutely love and miss. Of course, this is a solid state button, similar to the iPhone 8. So this is basically cannot be pressed. So it's a capacitive button. Okay, let's take a look at the right side. We get our mute toggle and volume buttons. So on the right side, we get the power button as well as the SIM slot. Okay, on the bottom, we get the microphone and speaker grills as well as your lightning port with the two torx screws as usual. On the top, basically nothing up here. All right, so that's it for the iPhone. Let's take a look at the accessories. So yeah, sadly, we do not get the fast charging power brick. So we get this uh, very old school power brick, which I have tons of it lying around because I use this for my Wi-Fi extenders instead of charging my phone. Right here, so we get the Apple earpods. Last but not least, you get a lightning cable with a USB-A on one end. Of course, the latest iPhones, you do get the USB-C to lightning and that charges a lot faster with the uh, sort of fast charging power delivery power brick. But this is the old school style which basically i use in my car because my car doesn't have usb-c yet so you know iphone's iphone basically the setup process everything's the same so we'll conclude this video right here because i'll be really really focusing and getting my hands on lots and lots and lots of cases like the mophie juice pack so i'll be trying to get my hands on other solutions for power bank cases as well because you know the iphone 8 and the iphone se batteries do not last the whole day especially considering my use because i use it to shoot videos and I use it to edit videos and I use it on my Insta360 Go as well. I would probably need a power bank to go with this phone. So I have a couple of solutions already, but I haven't uh, placed the orders because I'm still researching on better options so I can recommend to you guys. That's all for this video. Hope you did like this video. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.